tiny window will determine the fate of these two players as they challenge each other in knowledge and daring on Double Cross. Now here's the host of Double Cross, Jack Berry. Thank you. Thank you. You're very kind. Thank you very, very much. Delighted to have you with us here on Double Cross, a brand new program where players, in order to win the big money, have to take terrific risks. Talking about our players, Johnny, will you introduce our first two players? We'll do that, Jack. These are our first two players on today's session of Double Cross. His hobby is photography. He came back from Paris with 700 pictures. Paul Fisher. <laughs> Next, let's say hello to an airline stewardess, Sammy Coyve. Players, nice to have you here with us on Double Cross. Sammy Coy, stewardess, says here on my card that you were married to a fundraiser for the Republican Party. Was it love at first sight between you and Mr. Republican? No, I'm a Democrat. <laughs> oh, how convenient. Any little third parties at home? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Good luck on the game. And Paul Fisher, 700 pictures you took in Paris. You must have liked it pretty much there. I loved it. I had a fabulous time. Uh, the people are wonderful. Had a great hotel suite, beautiful room, lovely terrace. The bathroom was dynamite. I'm sure it was. <laughs> Paris, especially with players. We're going to give you a chance to play our game right after this message. Here's how we play Double Cross. Our players make money by answering questions in the category that shows up in the top window. The dollar value of each question is determined by the bottom two money windows. However, if a cross ever appears in a money window, you are in trouble, players. You lose the money you've accumulated, and you also lose your turn. The player who accumulates $1,000 wins the game and gets to play our bonus game, which is worth more than $4,000. Now, players, as you know, in every game, you have a choice of selecting your own favorite category. Paul, which category did you select for this game? I selected basketball. And Sammy? I chose world capital. Okay. There are other categories, of course, but I know you'll be hoping that your own favorite category comes up. All set to go. Reading from left to right, Paul will give you the first turn, spin. Your category is news 75 for 60 and 70 for $70. Now, I'll give you, you'll win $70 for every correct answer you give me on a question about the news. But if you're not satisfied with that, and you can keep answering questions as long as you want, if you're not satisfied with the money or the category, you can spin again and hold on to the money. What do you want to do? Do you want to stop with this? I think I, I'd like to spin again. Spin again, okay. Looking for something better. He has $70 already. New category is basketball. That's your category for 80 and 50, 130. You have $200. And that is your category. $200 for every question. Do you want to play it? Oh, I think it's worth it. I'll play. I would think so. Here you go. For $200, which famous team did Abe Saperstein coach? The original Celtics, the Harlem Globetrotters, or the New York Knickerbockers? That was the Harlem Globetrotters. You've got it for $200. Very good. I'll give you another question and answer it correctly. You'll go to $400. But if you miss, you go back to zero. What do you want to do? Do you want to put that money in the bank or go for a second question? Oh, let's go. Let's go. There we go. go. For $400 or zero, which NBA team's backcourt consists of Clyde and the Pearl? Was it the Celtics, the Hawks, or the Knicks? It was the New York Knicks. Try it right again. You have $400. <laughs> now the decision gets tougher. Because if you miss a question, you go back to zero. But if you answer another one, you'll be at $600. Do you want another one, or do you want to quit right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, I'll go. I'll go. For $600, what famous NBA star was known as Zeke from Cabin Creek? Oscar Robertson, Bob Cousy, or Jerry West? That was Jerry West. Right again for $600. Do <laughs> you want to put the $600 in the bank? Let's go in the bank. To the bank. All right, he's taking the $600, playing it safe, going into the bank for $600. All right, very good. Sammy? Your first spin, good luck. You have World Capitals, your category, 60 and 30. $90 on World Capitals, which you selected. You want to go for $90? I'm going to go for it. You're going to go for it. Okay. Answer as many as you can. Name the capital of West Germany. Is it Berlin, Bonn, or Munich? It's Bonn. Right, you have $90. <laughs> want to put $90 in your bank? No, I want to go again. I've got a you, long way you to know, go. There are risks as you go along. Do you want to do that, or do you want to answer another question? Go again. Yes. Okay, for $180. Name the capital of Canada. Is it Ontario, Ottawa, or Toronto? Ottawa. Yes, that's good. You have $180. Now do you want to go to the bank? No, no, I've got to go. I've got to go. <laughs> going again. Still yes, not afraid of yes, Okay, I'm here we go. go. 
Jordan's capital dates back to biblical days. Is it Damascus, Baghdad, or Amman? Amman. That's right. You have $270. You want to go for $360? I have to go. Going for $360. Go. Okay. The Republic of South Africa has two capitals. Which one of these three is not one of these capitals? Is it Pretoria, Cape Town, or Johannesburg? Johannesburg. That's correct. You have $360. Remember, if you miss a question, you'll be back to zero. Do you want to now go for four hundred and fifty dollars? I've got to go. I've got to go. He's got to go so because you're trailing. I've got to go. Okay, name the capital of Argentina. Is it La Plata, Santa Fe, or Buenos Aires? Buenos Aires. Right. You now have four hundred and fifty dollars. What are you going to do? You're going to risk it. I'm going to go. Got to go. Okay. Name the capital of Belgium. Is it Ghent, Liège, or Brussels? Oh, I'll. Brussels. That's right. You have $540. Do you put that in the bank or do you risk the entire $540? Bank it. What? I think I'll bank it. She's going to put it in the bank, all right? She has now in the bank $540. Score 600 to 540, going into round two. I advise both of you now that if any time a double cross comes up in both of the wheels, you will lose everything you have. A single cross only loses you the amount in that round. Your turn, Paul. Your category is world capitals. For 40 and 30, $70 on world capitals. Do you want that or do you want to go further? No, let's go again. Go again. All right, getting rid of that. You hung on to your $70, and your next spin gets you. Films of the 60s. For $60 added to 10 is 70, you now have $140 on films of the 60s. Let's go again. Go again. He's still not satisfied. Okay. New category is World Capitals for $20 and... Oh! Okay, it's only one cross, so you miss... You get nothing in this round, but you do lose your turn, and it's over to you, Sammy. Give him a spin. Your category is basketball. His ca category for $20 and 10 never, $30 in basketball. Never. No chance, right? <laughs> Getting rid of it. All right, fictional heroes for $20 added to 10 is 30 You don't have $60 on fictional Try heroes. Try again. Going again. All right. This time you have world capitals. That's yours for 60 and 30 Let's go. 90 and 60 $150. I have a feeling you like this one, right? I sure do, this so was far. The, this was the category you picked. $150 for each correct answer. You're not too far away. Four answers would give you $1,000 and win you the game. Switzerland's capital was founded close to 800 years ago. Is it Geneva, Bern, or Lausanne? Bern. Right. You have another $150. <laughs> Careful now. $150 at stake if you miss a question. I'm going to go. One more. One more. The origins of Yugoslavia's capital date back to over 2,000 years ago. For another $150, bringing you $300 in this round, is it Zagreb, Sarajevo, or Belgrade? Um, uh, could you repeat those? Yes, Zagreb, Sarajevo, or Belgrade? Zagreb. No, I'm sorry, it's Belgrade. You lose your $150 at the end of the round. 600 to 540, a close game. Okay, Paul, it's your spin. Category is World Capitals, $20 and $70. $90 on no, World Capitals. Gotta go. Don't like it. Okay. He's hanging on to the $90. Doesn't like the capital. Films of the 60s so for $40 added to $70. $110, you have $200. I'll, I'll go with the two. $200, huh? I'll go, I'll go with this one. Films of the 60s. I point out to you that all you have to do is answer two questions, and you would be at $1,000. But Sammy gets a final spin. You started, so she ends it up. Listen carefully. Bonnie and Clyde starred Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway. Which one of these actors appeared in a supporting role? Cloris Leachman, Gene Hackman, or Stuart Whitman? Gene Hackman. You now have $200 in this round. <laughs> you want to put that in the bank? You don't no, need I'll go. I got to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Okay, this is an important question. Answer this correctly. You'll have $400 in this round and $600 in the bank for $1,000. Who played opposite Jack Lemmon in The Odd Couple? Was he Jack Klugman, Art Carney, or Walter Matthau? Walter Matthau. You have a thousand dollars, all told, four hundred dollars in the wall round. Now, that's the magic number, a thousand. But you know, Sammy is close on your heels. You can stop right now, freeze at a thousand, no more turns, or you can keep playing. If you keep playing and miss a question, you could lose the four hundred. What do you want to do? I'll put it in the bank. I'll put it in the bank. He's putting four hundred in the bank. He has a thousand dollars, and he's frozen. Sammy. 
He is, you've got to catch him right now. You have, that's your cap, world capitals is yours, 40 and 30. $70 in world capitals. If you answered about, how many of these do you have to answer? You have to answer about six of these questions to win, or seven. You want to do that or go for more? I'll go. Not enough money, all right. Now the category coming again, world capitals for 80 and 30. 110 and 70. 180 dollars. Okay. You going with it? Yes, I'll go with it. Okay. Three questions answered correctly would bring you over the top and win you the game. You'd have $1,080 if my calculations are right. Miss a question, and this game is over. Paul wins. The origins of Yugoslavia's capital... Oh, I read you that one. <laughs> I'll take it again. <laughs> yeah, you'd love to have that again. <laughs> Name the capital of the Republic of Korea. Is it Inchow, Pusan, or Seoul? Seoul. Right. There is $180. That's one question. <laughs> Want to put it in the bag? You can't. Of course, oh, the no, game will be I'm... over. No, you got to go all the way this time. Yes, I have no choice. Another $180. Name the capital of Czechoslovakia. Is it Pilsen, Prague, or Bratislava? Prague. Right, you have $360. <laughs> this question will either make you the winner in this game or make Paul the winner in this game because you would be over the top. <laughs> Name the capital of New Zealand. For $1,080, all told, in the bank and in this round, is it Auckland... Wellington or Christchurch? Wellington. You win the game with a thousand eighty dollars. Congratulations, Sammy. Thank you. Very well played. Winning a thousand and eighty dollars, and in a moment you get a chance to play our bonus game. Paul, you played well too. Look at that. You're right behind her. Backstage will be some nice consolation prizes. Let's say goodbye to Paul, who is a marvelous player. Congratulations, Paul Fisher. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Jeff. And we'll be back to play our bonus game right after this. Time for the bonus game. Sammy Coyve, come on over and try to win it. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. You won the main game. You won $1,080. Now you get a chance to win thousands of dollars more in cash and prizes. Here's how our bonus game works. In each of the two money windows, you'll find amounts ranging from $10 to $200. You'll have a total of five spins to accumulate $1,000. But the top window has bonuses and penalties. They can help you reach the $1,000 quickly, but it also has a double cross. If the double cross comes up, it costs you everything you could win in the bonus. If you are able to reach $1,000 in five spins or less, not only will you get that $1,000, but as your bonus, here's what you will receive. If you hear jungle drums, we're not surprised. That's Africa calling. Here's a vacation to one of the most exciting places on Earth, beautiful and majestic Africa. On this 21-day safari, you'll explore the incredible Ngorogoro Crater, see Mount Kenya, treetops, Nairobi, Africa, the trip of a lifetime, and this bonus round is worth in cash and prizes over $4,000. Okay, Sammy, remember, five spins, only five spins to reach $1,000. The double cross is up there. It'll cost you everything. You can stop at the end of any round, but you do get five turns. You ready? I'm okay, ready. Okay, turn number one. Giving you 180, and you add 200. <laughs> Terrific start. You start with $380. Do you want to quit now with 380? Oh, no. Watch out for the double cross. If it comes up, you lose everything. I hope it's you sure? I'm sure. Okay, so you're going for your second spin. You have a 90, and 100 is 190, and zero. So you, that cost your turn, but you didn't lose anything. You are still at $380. If you stop now, you have three turns left. You want to risk it and go? Go ahead. All right. Turn number three. This time you have $90, $190, and add 300. That, we add $490, giving you a total of $870. You're not very far away from the thousand. You have two more turns, but you couldn't lose it all. I'm so close, and I want to go to Africa, so right. I'm going to go. Going again. again. This is turn number four. There is $90 and $60. That's $150 and... And $300. You've got it all the way over. Over the top, I didn't even know how much it was, but I think it all adds up to $1,320. 
$1,320 you won here, and you won, uh, you won in the, previously in the game $1,080, and the value of the trip, all told, Sammy and ladies and gentlemen, she is winning $5,400 in cash and prizes. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, I can't believe it. <laughs> Not only that, but you get a chance to play another game, and we'll be doing that right after these words. <laughs> Sammy Coy, of our champion, now gets a chance to play a second game. Johnny, who will she play against? Well, Jack, we'd like to have you meet an Air Force flight engineer, Captain David Harelko. <laughs> Hi, David. Welcome to the program. Hi, it's nice to be here. What, uh, may I ask how you spend your time? I'm a full-time postgraduate student, Jack. Studying what? Well, I got my MS and my MBA back east. Now I'm at UCLA as an engineer getting my PhD. Well, that's G-O-O-D. <laughs> David, I, I know that you were asked to bring a favorite category and suggest it, and we'd include it in the game. Which category do you want to play with? Well, I picked physics. Physics? Physics. Some favorite category. <laughs> and of course, Sammy, you stay with World Capitals, which is your choice. The challenger always goes first. Remember, try to get to $1,000 and watch out for those crosses and double crosses. David, your spin first. Here we go. And you have physics, your category. And $20 and $30 is $50. $50 on physics. Uh, small and potatoes. Do you want to go with that? Gotta go ahead. She's too Get good a player. Okay. Wants to go again. Too good You have your player. $50. Movie lovers, $40 and $70 is $110. We add that to the $50. You have $160 for every question on movie lovers. Uh, I'm worse than movie lovers. Let's go one more time. Worse on that. Okay. One more time. Category now is World Capitals for $20 and $10. $30 gives you $190. I'm scared of the X. Let's stay with this category. That's her category, but you want to play it anyway, okay? $190 for every question you go as far as you want, but if you miss a question, you go back to zero. Is Rangoon the capital of Yemen, Sudan, or Burma? Burma. That's right. You have $190. <laughs> want to put it in the bag or go on? Let's go on. Okay. Is the capital of Bulgaria Sofia, Bovrovnik, or Plovnik? Sofia. You're right. You have $380. <laughs> want to go in the bag? You miss one, you're back down to zero. I'm good for one more. One more. One more. One more. Is Dhaka the capital of Bangladesh, Vietnam, or Venezuela? Bangladesh. You're right. You have $570. Not the risk. Want to put it in the bank. He doesn't want to go anymore. He takes his $570 and puts it in the bank. And so you've got a good start of, start of the first round. Okay. Sammy Koiv, it's your turn. Your category is physics. That's his. Never. $60 and $70. You have $130 on physics. Never, never. <laughs> All right, she doesn't want that. They're yours, world capital, but you got a cross, and so you lose your turn. You have a zero for this round, and you're leading at the end of the first round, 570 to zero. Sammy, you're going to have to do a lot of catching up, but it is your second turn. Here David? Category this time, Big movie numbers. lovers, $60 plus 70 is $70. I mean, 10. Uh, want that? I'm leery of movie lovers altogether. Okay, doesn't like that, but he has $70. World capitals, you have $60 plus... Oh, of course. And you have zero. You stay at 570. Sammy, your category is physics. <laughs> $20 That's plus. That's not my category. And you got a cross. <laughs> Bad luck. Two rounds going. Going to the third round. Okay, David. You have movie lovers. Uh. $60 plus 10. $70. You sure now? I've got to go. Okay. He doesn't like that category. He now has nicknames for $40 plus another cross. <laughs> You stay at $570. You still have a big lead, but boy, you're getting plenty of these crosses. Okay, Sammy. Play more carefully, people. World Capitals, that's your category for 40 plus 70. I'll There's take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's her category. She picked it. $110 for each correct answer. Is Khartoum the capital of Uganda, Sudan, or Tanz Tanzania? Sudan. That's right. You have $110. Want to thank it? Going. Go on. Is the, capital, is the capital of nationalist China Taiwei, Taiwan, or Taipei? Taiwan. No, it is not. It is Taipei. Oh. You lose your money and you're back to zero, and your David still leads going to the fourth round, 570 to zero. Okay, David. No movie lovers, please. Physics, Physics. your category for 20 plus 10. Oh. $30. It'd take all day at 30 bucks. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't like the $30. World capitals for 40, and we add to that 70. 110 and 30 is 140 dollars. 
Let's try the World Capitals. World Capitals. That's her category, but you like it. Here we go. Is the capital of nationalist China... Oh, I just gave that. The capital of Romania is Bucharest, Budapest, or Ploesti? Bucharest. That's right. You have $140. <laughs> Want to put it in the bag or go on? Let's go on. Okay. The population of Luxembourg's capital numbers less than 100,000. Is that capital Liechtenstein, Hanover, or Luxembourg? Hanover. It is not. It is Luxembourg. And you lose. You'll go back down to zero, and you stay at $570. Sammy, this is the fourth round, the end of the fourth round. You better try to catch up. There you have nicknames for $60 plus $30. $90 on no, nicknames. No, I'm going to go again. Don't like it. Okay. You now have the human body, $80 plus $10. That's I 90 and 90 is 180 I have one, but I don't know a thing about don't it. Don't like that either. Okay. <laughs> Physics, $40 plus $10 is $50. i am going you again. $230. And she's going again. Physics again. 40 plus 10. Hold it, Sandy. I want to total this up. 50 and added. We have $280 for every question on physics. Do oh. you want to try it? No, no, no. I gather you don't like this category. No, I don't. I okay. don't. Category is physics. $60 plus 50. $110. You have $390 on physics per question. Never. <laughs> she doesn't want to do it. Okay. Gotta go again. Go ahead. This time your category is nicknames for $60 plus 10. $70, you have $460. I'll take it. She's gonna take it. $460. I point out to you that three questions will win you the game because you're in your proper turn. Question number one. What composer is known as the March King? George M. Cohan, Stephen Foster, or John Philip Sousa? John Philip Sousa. Right, you have $460. <laughs> Question number two. What entertainer is known as the Divine Miss M? Liza Minnelli, Anne Margaret, look at how you're smiling, she can hardly wait till I say this I third know one. It. <laughs> or Bette Midler. Bette Midler. You're right, you have $920. I didn't ask you after the first one if you wanted to put it in the bank, I, and I must ask you now, do you want to put this $920 in the bank? I'll go. Let's, You'll go. I'll go. I'll a go. Correct answer, a correct answer would bring you over the top. You'd have $1,380. If you miss the question, you'll go back to zero. You will lose $920. What 20th century ruler was known as the Lion of Judah? Was it David Ben-Gurion, Haile Selassie, or Mahatma Gandhi? Haile Selassie. You're right, you win $1,380. Congratulations, Sammy Coy. You're winning another $1,380 added to the prize and cash you had, uh, prizes and cash you had before. You're winning right now a grand total of $6,780. Congratulations. As for you, David, as for you, David, you played very, very well indeed, but backstage, you will get some lovely consolation prizes, our regrets. Let's say goodbye to David Herelko. Thanks a lot. Goodbye, David. <laughs> and we have a bonus game, but I'm afraid our time is just about up, so... Sandy, Sammy, can you come back for the bonus game on our next program? Absolutely. First thing we'll do on our next show is give you a chance to play the bonus game. You can win three or $4,000 more in prizes. We hope you enjoyed the program and that you'll join us tomorrow. Until then, Jack Barry saying, watch out. Don't be double-crossed. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you, guys. is a Jack Berry, Dan Enright production. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.